Hi, my name is Carly Britt, and I'll be talking about developmental pathways in the stylings of The Witcher. So, first I'll introduce our characters. We have Geralt of Rivia, Fringilla of Nilfgaard, Yennefer of Angerberg, and Roach of Geralt, I guess. Um, and so, let's first talk about our overall goal. So, transcription in this scenario is equal to Geralt finding his destiny. So, we want to understand what activators or repressors are present to allow for RNA polymerase to transcribe this gene, and then for it to be translated into Geralt, and Geralt finding his destiny. Um, so we've got some clues to help us figure this out. So for single mutants, we have in a mutant show lacking Roach, Geralt does not find his destiny. And to illustrate this, we'll say that Roach promotes the transcription of Geralt with that arrow. Um, and so also in a mutant show lacking Fringilla, Geralt does find his destiny. And so that's illustrated as Fringilla blocks Geralt or represses the transcription of Geralt finding his destiny. And in a mutant show lacking Yennefer, Gen Geralt does not find his destiny. So again, like with Roach, Yennefer promotes the transcription of Geralt. Um, so in a mutant show lacking Roach and Fringilla, Geralt does not find his destiny, so this should help us put some things in order. Um, so we have our two situations here with Roach and Geralt and Fringilla and Geralt, and we can either say that Fringilla represses Roach who activates Geralt, or that Roach represses Fringilla who represses Geralt. And so we know that if Roach and Fringilla are not there, that he does not find his destiny. And so if we look at these two scenarios, Roach in this one, Roach has to be actively present for um, Geralt to be transcribed and find his destiny, which means that this must be the correct order. Um, we'll use our next clue to figure out the, um, the last order of things. So in a mutant show lacking Fringilla and Yennefer, Geralt does find his destiny. Um, and so we'll set up the same way. Um, we can either say Fringilla blocks Yennefer, who promotes Geralt, or Yennefer blocks Fringilla, who blocks Geralt. Um, so in this situation, Geralt does still find his destiny, which means that it must be this situation, because neither of them are actively promoting the transcription um, of Geralt directly. So if Yennefer is blocking Fringilla and Fringilla is blocking Geralt, if they're both gone, uh, they're just repressing each other, so Geralt can still be translated. Um, so this is our overall pathway, Yennefer blocks Fringilla, who blocks Roach, who promotes Geralt, and this is just written out here, so can get, Geralt can find his destiny. And then we have this animation, so Fringilla is acting as the repressor, so this RNA polymerase can't get through, but if Yennefer is um, present, she can get rid of Fringilla, and Roach is present, so he's an activator in this situation. So RNA polymerase can go across and transcribe and then translate um, the protein that creates Geralt, and Geralt can ride Roach to find his destiny in the form of Siri. So everyone is happy. All right, so here are my sources. These will be in the description, um, and I hope you enjoyed.